Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. On the agenda tonight we have John Fairhey and this is going to be coming from 1978 and it is performance of Poor Boys Long Way From Home. So let's get John up on screen and see how he gets on. I'm just going to jump in here just to say about John's playing. It is so easy to listen to and so engaging, but technique wise, he is so solid on that running bass line that's going constantly, even at the beginning of the track. When he's tuning his guitar, if you listen to that, that is still all technically perfect the way that he's playing, even though he's just concentrating on getting the pitch right um, on the high E string and the B string. But just throwing in that running bass line, it never ever stops. It is so consistent. So then anything he's playing over the top of that is then going to have that solid bass line like you would have in a band, like a bassist constantly supplying that foundation. He's got that going all the time and then supplies that melody over the top with those higher strings. We've got a certain part of the melody that is actually repeated a lot so it becomes memorable and you start to get used to that I've said on other tracks where you have a journey and often when you've just got an instrumental you'll have a particular hook or a particular phrase a sequence of notes or a little passage that you play through that you always repeat, always come back to. And John has certainly got that in this. Another interesting thing is the way that John is playing in this relaxed manner, making it really easy to listen to. And it sounds relaxed because of the way that he's playing it. Just if you need to rewind it, have a look at the bends that he does, where he bends up so slowly to the destination. It is a really slow, relaxed bend. And the slower that bend is, the more relaxed it will make people feel when they listen to it. And in Interestingly, I had a video on Rai Kuda last night and he was playing slide guitar, but exactly the same thing, a really relaxed way, or at least the relaxed emotion that he's putting across by sliding slowly up to the notes, exactly the same here with John bending up slowly just to keep it in context. If you did really fast bends, it would just sound really out of place and it wouldn't emote what he wants to through the guitar. It wouldn't be relaxed and easy to listen to. But the most important thing here with John is the absolute consistency of his picking with that thumb just hopping over from that low E string over to the D string. You'll see it just hopping up and over all the time, just up and down, up and down. So. Hopefully in the rest of this video we'll start to see on that right hand the way that John's actually picking through the strings because the right hand is absolutely all over it here just timing wise and being so consistent with it as well. But let's get into a little bit more of the video.
going to jump in here because John's starting to push the tempo. I don't know why we were looking at his back for so long there with the camera work, but we're back to the fretboard here. And we also got a close up of that right hand. So you can start to see um, the finger picks that he had on, but also that thumb, the way that John's thumb just constantly is going from that low E string and just hopping over to the D and then from the A string, hopping over to the G as well. He's always string skipping here. And that is something that is absolutely essential for this kind of running bass line that you'll get through if you've played this kind of style and you've always got that bass line going on. Hopping over those strings and being so consistent with it takes so much practice. And it's one of those techniques that you spend just as long working on as, you know, you'll see shredders who are playing a million notes a second, but all of these techniques on that right hand, you've got to spend so long to be able to play through. I mean, we've gone through almost four minutes of absolutely flawless finger picking here. The top players always make the most difficult techniques look easy. And John here, absolutely faultless the whole way through this performance. He hasn't missed a note. And with acoustic and with finger style, if you get any notes that are buzzing or any inconsistencies, it stands out like a sore thumb because there's nowhere to hide. There's absolutely no effect on an acoustic guitar. Sometimes you'll have a touch of reverb, but if anything, that's gonna exaggerate any mistake. Let's just get into this last minute of his performance. And there we go. I just want to do a little comparison here. I'm going to play at the end of this track, just play a little excerpt here, and then rewind it back to the beginning because I always mention with other guitarists how when you're playing the guitar and it's just an instrumental, you've got to make it like a journey. You've got to do something with your playing. Obviously, you've got to have all the techniques down like John's got here to absolutely sell the piece, whatever you're playing. But you've got to put a journey into your playing by changing dynamics but also you can do that by changing speed the faster you get the more angsty it's going to be a little bit more rushed but then i'm going to just going to play this just jump in here so now that we've just heard that i'm just going to take it back And listen how much slower that is in terms of his tempo, the way that he's built it up. You probably won't notice it as much when you're watching the performance. But those kind of things make it interesting to watch the whole time. Obviously, it's great playing all the way through. If I went even earlier on, it will be even slower. So see how he starts out really slowly with really deliberate picking, really slow bends as well. What I loved at the end as well, he went back into that section. I always say that when you've got that instrumental piece, there'll always be little places that you return to. And John does the slow bends at the beginning of the piece, and then he throws in those slow bends at the end. So it's like bookends of that composition. And it just makes it like, you know, you've got a beginning, a middle and an end. 
people will watch performances like this with John, but also other acoustic guitarists who put together an instrumental for about five minutes and they'll really like it and it was really easy to listen to and people won't know why they like it, but it's really subtle details like that increase in tempo that John intentionally throws in there so that all the way through the track he's gradually speeding up. It's going to make it sound different all the way through and then at the end he then goes back to that slower playing and the slow bends, putting those bookends at the end of the composition. It's these really subtle details that people won't pick up on if they just watch it and just accept it as a piece of music and maybe if they don't play guitar they won't know why they like it but it's just these these top players, they're so good at playing a composition and putting their personality into it and getting you to feel something about their playing. And there are so many hours and days and months and years worth of practice that goes into being able to do that, but they just make it look really easy. The best players as well, when you're watching a video like this, the techniques start to disappear into a feeling. And it's weird to try and describe it like that but personally when I'm watching a great guitarist play it is like watching and hearing a piece of art and you forget about all the technique that goes into it and that's how you know that somebody is absolutely at the top is you don't really see any of the techniques because the art is so good what you're hearing that final product there's nothing that I'd put a cross by and say oh we missed that oh we messed up that bit there's none of that in John's playing so technical ability on that finger style he's way way up there and he just makes it look so easy but thank you so much for suggesting this video for me to take a look at and keep those suggestions coming in the comments below let me know what you guys think and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next one rock